Hello everybody and welcome. First of all, thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivan Atero. This video is about new moon in the sign of Aquarius. And this new moon is going to be very, very interesting one. Why and how come? Well, I will explain everything to you what I can see. First of all, in seven days from now, because now is what? Uh, 7th of February when I'm recording this video so uh, February 15 2018 we all can expect partial solar eclipse and new moon in a sign of Aquarius um, Aquarius first of all what is Aquarius what type of energy that is and generally what Aquarius as a zodiac sign basically represent to all of us uh, in uh, our chart Aquarius is in 11th house. 11th house, generally speaking, is about group, group of people, circle, circle of your friends. Do you have enough of your friends? Do you even have a friend, like a good loyal friend? Which is not very easy uh, to have, especially nowadays. Long term goal future generally speaking this is all Aquarius organization for some of you organization skill maybe you want to join to a new organization uh, also could be financial reward especially if you like very diligent and if you already know uh, or maybe you just get a promotion like a couple of months uh, before in 2017 now you can expect a financial reward as well so this is also about uh, net your goal and expressing stand your stand and your opinion so try to try to listen don't skip this intro without this intro you ain't gonna understand like nothing believe me so you need to listen and I will explain to you everything what I can see. And I said to you that this new moon in the sign of Aquarius is a very interesting one. Both for men and women, but especially for ladies. So girls, stay tuned. What can I say? Okay. So, <clears throat> sun on 27th degree in the sign of Aquarius. Next to the sun is Mercury, 24th degree. Venus is not anymore in the sign of Aquarius, but Venus is still, you know, pretty close. Uh, fifth degree of Pisces. So, Sun basically is chasing this Venus. So, Venus is a representation of woman and love. And Sun is uh, a man. This is a masculine type of energy. So, I can see the Sun is chasing Venus. Man is chasing a woman. Obviously, this man have a plan most likely he wants to, to to catch you he wants to be with you he wants to talk with you but this venus is very very special because this venus is in a conjunction with asteroid diana <laughs> now this is something very awkward because generally speaking you know women want to be attached women want to become a married woman you know uh well at least vast majority of uh, of women out there Okay, I know that, we all know that, and you as a woman, you know that, and believe me, and men, generally speaking, they also know. But this is very specific situation, when woman is aware that, you know, she wants to be single, or she does, not, she does not have any kind of commitment, and especially, she does not want to have new responsibility in her life. Pay attention, Venus in exact conjunction with Diana, Diana, Astrid Diana, she wants to be free. She wants freely to express who she is and what she stands for. But this sun, and this is very mature, 27 degree as, as a degree, very mature. So this man finally know what he wants. And he wants you. And he will express with this new moon in the sign of Aquarius next to sun, he will express exactly what I just said to you. But women you as a lady as a girl you will we will say either no I don't have a time no I, I don't want to listen 
or maybe you will set completely new rules that you need to obey. Now listen, listen what else is new. Also there is a Juno, Asterit Juno, which is commitment. Juno is always, always a commitment. This is union between man and woman and woman with and we all know what uh, Juno is standing for marriage so either you will marry me or either I ain't gonna be with you anymore so maybe you are already like six months one year two years five years I don't know in relationship with someone and this man simply saying you know I want to be with you but I don't want to marry you but now because most likely you will say I am gone you do not want to marry me and I don't want to waste my time on you for the first time and of course everything depends where uh, what I just described to you where this situation will play out first house seven house ten house twelfth house but I will talk about that a little bit later but stay here and listen how this story will uh, will unfold out okay so do you remember at the very beginning I said you need to show your opinion you need to describe you need to you need after all you need to stand for yourself um, and so many people are already get used that you are without your voice but now you will understand you will see you will feel that you don't want to wait anymore you want to free you want to be free or you want to freely express what you are standing for so this is exactly what it is expressing your point of view expressing your stand showing your stand and fighting even if that if this is necessary fighting for your stand showing your opinion so many people will be um, overwhelmed you know what you know he never expressed himself in a such a way or she never talked in a such a way you know so you will blown away a group of people or maybe one person next to you of course everything depends who you are where you live what is the topic now in your life how old or young you are you know are you single are you attached but every single uh, detail and I I try to find really every single detail about this new moon in the sign of Aquarius and everything is talking about commitment and love and marriage and uh, having a stand and um, showing uh, quite very um, openly uh, your point of view and for so many of you this is a freedom like you never ever experienced so this is about freedom and not being afraid to express your opinion uh, this is your life you can do with your life whatever you want whatever you want but this is like a big 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 shift and this is like a big big awareness big powerful uh, allowing yourself to find your voice and to express your voice and of course everything depends in which house this new moon will occur so everything depends on that so many people now you will start making plans new long-term goal plus uh, uh, everything depends in which house this basically new plan will pop out but there is also something more there is a south node of the moon in Aquarius so what to do with that and then I start searching and searching and searching and searching and of course there is uh, there is a um, uh, sex styling between Venus and Saturn and a new moon in the sign of Aquarius and south node so basically this is ex husband ex wife ex friend or maybe even ex ex group somebody own own somebody something you know somebody is owning something to you or maybe this is you owning to somebody something think dig deep and try to see in which area of your life <coughs> this type of energy or this type of scenario can play out so I will repeat this is all about freedom cutting off some people who obviously are not working uh, in uh, in your best interest remember Aquarius is a sign of friends friendship group of people maybe for the first time 
you will show your opinion in group of people. This could be also your family, your your um, inside of your office, company, shop, work, and everybody will stay. Ah, you stay, sh you know, quiet. And at this point, if someone is there to say to you this very exact same words, you stay quiet because they're used. They simply don't have your voice. But now you will have your voice and use your voice for basically showing your opinion. And if you think that this is connected only with your friendship, it is not. It is connected with your life generally. This is connected uh, uh, in love relationship, friendship, any kind of a relationship with anything, including your relationship to you. Because this is your 11th house. So universe is asking you, okay, we want to see, we want to hear your plan. What kind of plan, generally speaking, you have for yourself. So universe is listening and very carefully is listening for your opinion, for your thoughts, for your new plan and basically what next you want to do in your life. So just remember, now we have a picture of man chasing a woman, but this woman is saying, don't pressure me, uh, I want to see wedding ring on my finger, don't expect children like in a two months, you know, something of that kind. So this is you being like a general, you know, almost setting completely new rules in your life. Of course, what I just mentioned about kids, this is only an example. This is only an example. And I will, I, I will repeat it once again. Venus is next to Astrid Diana. Diana, she does not care less for commitment, but there is also Juno in play. So he now wants a marriage and you want to escape. You ain't gonna escape if he's going to fulfill all of your moon in the sign of Aquarius, your wishes. So he needs to fulfill everything, every single one. And then, like a truthful queen, you will say, Okay, okay, now you can approach to me and now you can marry me. Maybe this sounds crazy what I just explained to you in the past 12 minutes or so. But you will see this story will play out for so many people out there. Now I will go through every single 12 zodiac signs. So maybe you will understand much more closely how this energy of new moon and a partial solar eclipse in the sign of Aquarius might play out for you. So my dear Edisys, this, uh, what I just said, will happen in your 12th house. So uh, now you are free to fulfill your dream. You are free to fulfill your desire. You are free uh, to meet completely new group of people. Do not be afraid. Go and express and join to this group of people because this is your heart desire and maybe all of the sudden you will decide I want to learn about astrology I want to see everything I want to know everything you know or maybe you will meet an astrologer I mean this could happen you know okay next Taurus uh, this is your 10th house this is your job so uh, your career your job generally speaking is going to be affected but in a which way you want to become your own boss you don't want to work anymore nine until five you simply want to be free so this is like this is like screaming you know of course this is only the beginning but you need to start somewhere and somehow so you can start by listening and watching my video so maybe this will give you an idea oh what can i do of my own being a freelancer this is not easy because you really really need to be very dil diligent there is no boss saying you need to do this you need to do that no you need to push yourself every single day so if you are ready to do such a thing then simply you have a green light next gemini ninth house somebody will change your complete view what is possible what is not impossible so either somebody will teach you open another window because you know Aquarius is like a window so you will open another window you will look you will stare right and and left and you will see new possibilities there never ever before were like um, 
uh, given to you but but this new this new moon in the sign of Aquarius will open new window you know that every single new moon is always about new place new dream new people new person for so many of you this is this is second marriage for so for so many of you um, yes Ge this is for Gemini's uh, uh, I think I repeat once again Taurus so the, what I just said with a new opening new window this is Gemini ninth house so new view uh, on your life is going to be completely changed and open somebody can do that instead of you like a person man or woman but also this could be energy coming from a cosmos you will be placed in completely new um, environment and you need to find uh, like like a new new ground on which basically you will stand from this new moon on <clears throat> maybe ain't gonna happen overnight but in the next couple of weeks for some of you in a couple of months this will play out so you will see and your future in completely new perspective because maybe you will get new skill maybe you will get your diploma or whatever you know so this piece of paper or piece of anything will open completely new chapter of your life Gemini this is like a big thing for you believe me <coughs> excuse me cancer this will happen in your eighth house so what this might mean for you this is new source of money this is something new that you can learn or maybe you know somebody will enter into your life somebody who will nudge you a little bit somebody who will teach you how to earn money on uh, on internet you know so maybe you can do this could most likely this is like intellectual um, job of some kind could be like a freelance but maybe it's going to be like a full-time job but you need to be open you need to ask universe if especially if you don't have enough money universe God please help me I need more money show me the way and way is going to be shown to you either somebody will enter into your life or maybe circumstances generally speaking will 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 work on your behalf okay uh, Leo your seven house well this is very easy for me to predict because you know seven house is always about marriage this is also about partner and partnership so this is either new marriage so this is either a new person that you can meet who will become your marriage partner wife or husband this is generally speaking new love simply new love or new experience in in a love uh, which already exists in your life so maybe you will maybe you will understand that you need to be much more romantic maybe your partner will treat you in a much more romantic way because we are very romantic zo um, zodiac sign Aquarius is not very romantic zodiac sign but I can see somebody whoever this person is man or woman will approach to you in a very very romantic type of a way and most like especially if you are a woman you will say no first you need to become my friend do you remember what I said to you in introduction and only then you will put this person on a, on a test and not only one but couple of them and only then you will allow yourself to really fall in love Virgos your sixth house of your duty your body your diet your health okay this really could be new diet this could be you decide maybe you will decide to become a vegetarian stop smoking this is like a big resolution for you stop smoking at this point I can say to you and if you are regularly watch my YouTube channel you already know from 2nd of January I didn't light not just one cigarette and believe me I will follow my plan believe me so um, and also if, if you want to learn about astrology do that you know if you want to learn about Reiki healing do that you know so this is like al alternative something when it comes to your job maybe you will become a healer maybe you will become a tarot reader or an astrologer maybe just recently you met someone who can help you with this type of subject okay next Libra ah Libra 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 what can I say about you well uh, everything is happening in your fifth house and of course this is about love what else this is new love coming in your life and finally if I may say 
but I really need to describe uh, what I can see. For so many Libra, this is like a man, uh, I mean if you are a woman, this is a man, very accomplished type of a man, successful type of a man, and um, I think you already know him, he also could be married, sorry. So either he needs to divorce himself in order to be with you, and do you remember this point, I said Venus, which is your ruler, is, uh, uh, is in Pisces on 5th degree, but also Venus in conjunction with Astarit Diana. You are not ready, meaning this is not good for your well-being, to be and to waste time with a man who is married. Don't do that Libra, because believe me, not just once, in the next couple of weeks, maybe even months, you will have opportunity. So somebody is coming back. So easy for me to predict. And maybe he thinks that you own something to him. This is not the case. Uh, the only truth is that he can owe to you, not the way around. But, of course, if you do not want to go back, Libra don't. He will use you once again. But, uh, because this is new moon, this is completely new friend, and also somebody who is very accomplished, now can enter into, into your life. So, <clears throat> and now because your heart is overwhelmed with what happened in the past five, six, seven years, you are without your strength still, but strength is coming, especially when Venus, your ruler, finally enter into sign of Aries. This is you being like a, like a, um, Amazon woman. So you, you will completely change the way how you feel about you, the way how you feel about love. You will be ready for action and you will be ready for adventure. Now, still someone is chasing you, trying to use you. So, do you watch, do you listen what I said at the very beginning? Find your voice, express your opinion, stand for yourself and simply say, no honey, I ain't gonna cook for you, I ain't gonna wash your laundry and you are going to treat me like, you know, whatever. Now you are setting completely new rule in your life and especially when it comes to love. So, this is what cosmos, universe and God expect from you. New moon completely new you want something new and by all means you will get new energy fresh energy but universe want to check upon you did, did you learn lesson in the next six years and now if you are ready universe will give you a blessing because the best person yet soon will enter into your life but make sure make sure and also, when it comes to friends, make sure that really all of your, all of your friends are really friends. Because you have a bunch of people who are sucking energy from you. A bunch of people. Okay. So, this is like a homework for you. Next. Scorpio. Ford house. New home. New baby. New, uh, new friend. Could be anything at all. Uh, now, you want to have maybe even much more privacy. Because if you're already attached, you want to make completely new nest for you and for your honey, for you and for your lover, for you and for your wife or husband or, you know, whatever, depends of course on your gender. So you want to make a new nest. So make one. It doesn't have to be expensive. But the, the thing is, uh, you want to build a nest because, you know, you are in love. Maybe even for the very first time in your life, you will feel, you know, that you want to have a baby, maybe for the very first time you will say, yes, I want to become a married man or married woman. So something of this kind will play out inside of your life. So many of you now you will decide to either sell or to buy apartment, flat, studio apartment. And I can see already you want to do such a thing, not only because love, but you want to invite all so many of your friends. So basically your nest will be your nest, but I can see so many people, so many of good loving friends that want to even help you to either restore, to refurnish your house or maybe with your moving. Okay, next, Sagittarius, third house, new moon in the sign of Aquarius. You can buy a new car, you can buy a new computer, new cell phone, or maybe you will start with completely new class of, of, of some kind, you know. 
and also you will have opportunity for, to, to travel which basically you like the best but maybe the most important thing is you will understand that you can make a completely new friend in completely unfamiliar circumstances I don't know maybe this is not awkward for you because Sagittarius you are very 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 open type of a people but maybe now something will change you know because this is third house this is also your brothers siblings your sisters and your neighbors so you will learn new language maybe you will become IT engineer maybe for the very first time you will say you know I want to know so much more about computers and how computer basically working or something of that kind and you will be very you will be very um, very skillful when it comes to that also um, in your class you can meet your next love of your life or of on your friend or make a new friend or something like that okay Capricorn this is your second house this is for you new moon and the sign of Aquarius new idea how to make more money new circle of people of friends who can help you with that or maybe you will help to them if you have already this knowledge or maybe completely you will you will meet completely new group of people you know like you will have a new inter interest let's say this is only an example what is cryptocurrency can I can I make some money with cryptocurrency or something like that you know so you will join completely new group of people and everything is connected with money everything is connected with wallet and you know applying and of course before that learning then applying how you can make more money so you see beautiful energy is coming your way as well uh, Aquarius of course this is your first house and this is beautiful new moon in your sign because of you your identity radical change when it comes to your identity physical look your image and maybe even who knows your reputation so maybe you will become worldly known because of your beauty knowledge skill company hobby who knows but this is big opportunity with this new moon in your sign uh, but above all um, this is what I can see this is you and your words this is you saying to the whole white world because you want to change something in your life and this is what you will say now pay attention Aquarius this is only for you I owe this to myself whatever this might be in any kind of area department of your life I owe this to myself so this is like this is you saying I want to try this I want to see that I want to go there I don't want to lie I want to be free I want it whatever but every single thought inside of you will end with this I owe this to myself to not like nobody not your family friend children nobody this is something that you want to do or experience and you owe this to you this is almost like a, a writing making a bucket list almost like that so what you want to do with your freedom what what radically you want to change in your life what is that okay and Pisces uh, this is your 12th house new moon in the sign of Aquarius this is completely new dream this is new information this is past lover coming uh, to to you and maybe even you know saying some kind of um, explanation maybe some um, saying I'm sorry or you know whatever I can tell you this much you will be blown away uh, because this is something that you never ever ex expected something that you never ever expected now like 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 you're saying ah I will never do such a thing this is exactly what will happen to happen to you let's say oh, I, will, uh, I, I can't be in a relationship with the married man I will never do such a thing okay so only because you said such a thing this is exactly what you will get or maybe um I said to my family you know I will never become a married woman or married man because you to what you just said this is exactly what will happen so never say never something of that kind will play out for you as well okay enough of talking my dear friends, this is New Moon in the Sign of Aquarius. If you want to hear a story of your own, I need to see, I need to check your private natal chart. So I can, I can describe to you what really might happen to you. This is of course general, but still I think very quality video. 
Okay, so if you want to hear your story, book a private reading with me, you will get astrology and tarot reading for the price of one. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.